The Ministry of Education is continuing its efforts to raise awareness among ministry staff and prepare educational institutions to handle issues in relation to the coronavirus. Robust discussions continued on Tuesday with key ministry personnel from both St. Kitts and Nevis and representatives from the Clarence Fitzroy Bryant College. The meeting focused on the way forward in the event that the Federation has to implement social distancing to help curtail the spread of the virus. Chair of the SKN National Safe Schools Committee, Dr. Trisha Esdale, said while we do not have any confirmed cases of the coronavirus at this time, social distancing in the case of educational institutions could lead to school closure. Dr. Esdale outlined the ministry's response to the presence of coronavirus in the region and explained that advice given by the Ministry of Health will help to make decisions that can help protect students and teachers. Currently at this time, the Ministry of Education is looking at um, how we will control for and make decisions around um, the impact of coronavirus um, in schools, but we are going to be entirely guided by the advice of the Ministry of Health in those matters. I can tell you that we have begun to think about implications for um, testing and examinations. Um, if you are listening to the news, certainly you would have heard that other countries are beginning to report um, positive cases throughout the region. I can tell you that uh, CXC has already begun to engage the various um, Caribbean countries around examinations. She added that the Ministry of Education is focused on ensuring that accurate information is shared with the public during this time. The Ministry of Education is well poised for making sure that everybody is receiving up-to-date, reliable information and that we are also planning um, to ensure that the education for our children um, can continue whether or not it is the case that coronavirus makes itself present here in St. Kitts and Nevis. The Ministry of Education completed its initial COVID-19 outreach to public and private early childhood centers on March 12th. The program of awareness in schools, which started on March 9th, is expected to be completed by Friday, March 20th. A strategy for continuing education was also presented by Dr. Neva Pemberton, Chief of Education Planning in the event of the suspension of the regular education program.